So this is the demo for my simulation written for Ocean Engineering Fundamentals. So here's the ROV. I'm going to start from the beginning, actually. That's better. Um, so we can see it's in a tank of water. It's been constructed exactly to the specifications of the ROV we built in the labs. I'll go back to the beginning. I'll center more on the actual vehicle. Can explore it. See, we've got the four-way grapple hook here. Surge, sway, and heave motors here, and yaw motor up here, all connected to the cable, the tether, which I've decided to model because it adds a certain amount of drag to the vehicle when it moves and definitely um, changes the um, weight ratio. Um, if I click the whole robot here in my scene tree, I can... To the center of buoyancy, which as we can see is fairly high in the vehicle, and then if hold on, I show the center of mass, you can see it's fairly low in the vehicle. Um, Alright, so I'm going to deselect it and start the simulation. So the simulation is controlled but from the keyboard, it's uh, in a Python controller right here. I'm going to close this. Uh, scene tree as much as possible. Now when I restart it, it's going to give me the instructions right down here. And we can see, so it's hydrostatically stable. It will have a little bit of rocking to it at first. And then it'll even out. So, <clears throat> um, it's traditional up, down, left, right, AWSD controls. So, if I go up, that turns on the yaw. So it's going to spin. It can spin a little bit faster, but as you can see, the, m the more thrust I give the yaw, the more it turns to the side of the yaw thruster, which is not necessarily desirable, so I can turn that down and it'll still spin. Um, I'm going to do these motors one at a time, just to show them individually. Um, so then we've got the heave, so if I turn up the heave, it will spin, and definitely goes up. So, that achieves its job. Um, so right before it hits the surface, I'm gonna go back down. So that's neutrally buoyant again. As you can see, it's not moving. I'm just gonna go back down a little bit. So now let's play with the surge. So it does do some rotation. Uh, it doesn't go in a straight line, unfortunately. And the same. So I'm going to go a little bit faster so you can see what happens. Um, if we put too much thrust on the sway and surge motors, they tend to cause pitch and roll, which is not very desirable given the design of our vehicle with the grapple hook at the bottom so i'll show you for so let's get that to zero there we go um for sway it's the same it's almost a little bit worse for sway it's a little farther out from the center of um, gravity and mass <clears throat> So the higher it is, the more on the side it is, and if I put it too high, <clears throat> it will start rolling, which isn't what I want. So I've just neutralized that, and it's going to rock a little before it neutralizes out. Um, yeah, if I were to use them together, it's a little bit hard to control. So like, heave and yaw together, that's a lot of spinning. Uh, so if I were using this in the field of a competition, which is what it was meant for, um, with an Xbox controller, it would be probably very difficult. I'm not a gamer. Yeah, that's it. Um, it's not really much to show besides that. Uh, you can show the physics components of my um, my model because I worked really hard on them. So when it hits the ground, it hits the ground, it doesn't go through, which is important. And then gonna go back up. 
So if it wasn't uh, buoyant at the top and heavy at the bottom, um, when I turned the heave on while it was sideways like that, when it hit the ground, it would stay sideways and go hit the wall. So that's another thing. Uh, it doesn't do that. So if I get it to hit the wall, it won't go through the wall. That's another thing. Let's just go crazy with this. I'm currently piloting them as piloting this very badly, but eventually I'll manage to hit a wall. No. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all. 